Welcome to the 15th anniversary of the securing of our border. And while the GDR leadership celebrates the border, West German journalist Lothar Löwe interviews East Berliners on what they think of the wall. It's a real shame. But what can you do? We'd like to be able to travel to the West. Do you think it's still necessary after 15 years? I don't want to comment on that. But I don't like the wall. Do you think you'll ever walk through the Brandenburg Gate again to West Berlin? No. East Berlin still rejects any kind of criticism. Singer-songwriter Wolf Biermann has been banned from performing in the GDR for 11 years. But in November 1976, he suddenly receives permission to perform in the West. Biermann's songs are politically explosive. The lyrics say what many GDR citizens have long been thinking. Our country is bound by a wire rope, an island rocked by leaden waves. Umgürtet mit dem Drahtverband ist unser Land ein Inselland, umbrandet von bleiernen Wellen. The SED party does not appreciate his lyrical criticism of the GDR. The GDR authorities are denying Wolf Biermann, who moved to the GDR from Hamburg in 1953, a return to the German Democratic Republic. The news causes outrage. East Berlin singer Angelika Mann is disgusted. I was furious at them for not seeing that he was an outstanding poet. They were such cowards letting him travel like that and then saying, no, you can't come back, you step too far out of line. They made themselves look utterly ridiculous. Many in East Berlin share her view. And unlike in the past, they don't take it lying down. Twelve famous authors, including Heiner Müller, Christa Wolf and Stefan Heim, draw up a declaration of protest. Over 100 artists signed the petition, Angelica included. I didn't even have to think about it. I was so disgusted by the whole thing that there was no question I had to sign it. I never wondered, will this damage me? Will I benefit from this? But the protest is in vain. Biermann's expulsion is permanent. State repression instead of reforms. Public displays of solidarity with Biermann are choked off with prison sentences. In the months that follow, many popular artists give up and leave the country. I am in no doubt that Biermann's expulsion was the beginning of the end. After it happened, many people realized that things weren't going to change here. I knew it too. But it took me a while before I decided to leave the country. Journalist Lothar Löwe also senses that the mood in East Berlin has shifted. Here in the GDR, people are acutely aware of how the political hand is tightening its grip. Politically motivated arrests are on the increase throughout the country. Those who want to leave are very likely to have their applications denied in threatening terms. Everyone knows full well that border troops are under strict orders to shoot people as if they were mere rabbits. The GDR wastes no time in expelling Lothar Löwe for this very public attack on the regime. He is given 48 hours to leave East Berlin for good. <laughs> 